Hello and welcome to this video tutorial with a quick presentation of the new features included in our latest Rapid Plan release version 3.6. Um, there's quite a few additions you might find useful both for uh, drawing traffic control plans as well as managing your TCP collection. Let's get started with changes in the Rapid Plan welcome screen we're looking at right now. Um, the Plan Locations map is a new control that allows browsing your plans by location presented on a scrollable map control. Uh, the map is located here at the bottom of the welcome screen and expands when you click on it. If you leave it expanded it will stay this way so the map will be the first thing you see when you start Rapid Plan again. Uh, by default the map displays TCPs from your recent plans list and the default plans folder. In my case it's a bunch of uh, plans for sites around Melbourne, Australia. Uh, if you click the settings button here uh, you can control which plans are displayed. For example you can add custom folders which should be scanned for plans. Um, of course uh, for a TCP to appear on the map it needs to have the site location specified in its properties. You can scroll and zoom the map to find specific locations or use the search bar to search by address. Each plan is represented with uh, a map marker or if there's multiple plans in a small area they get clustered into a single marker. You can then zoom in to split them apart. Move mouse over a plan marker to see its details and click to open the plan. You can also quickly create plans from the map by simply right-clicking on the desired location and selecting New Plan here. As soon as you save the plan, it becomes available uh, on the map as well. The map is integrated with the recent plans box here, which has also been redesigned in Rapid Plan 3.6. Uh, it will now display up to 50 of your last accessed plans and when you move mouse over an item on the list a preview of its details is shown and the corresponding plan location marker on the map gets highlighted so you can see where the site is located. Um, your favorite or most used plans can also get pinned to the top of the recent plans list. Uh, to pin or unpin simply click the icon to the left of the plan name. While pinned, uh, an item remains at the top of the list and doesn't get replaced by any other plans you open. Um, and again, to open a plan, simply click its name on the list. OK, moving on to other features. While the quality of aerial photos keeps improving, when planning works it's often still useful to look at street level uh, images of the work's location. Rapid Plan 3.6 makes this extremely easy by providing a convenient shortcut to Google Street View. All you need to do is right click on the desired location and select Show Google Street View. Um, a disclaimer message will pop up the first time you use it just to let you know that the actual images are provided by Google and that you're being redirected to your web browser. Hit OK, Google Street View loads up and you're able to view on-site photos of the location you're planning for. Um, Here's the Faraday Street roundabout that we selected. The next thing I'd like to talk about is how in Rapid Plan 3.6 you can rotate print regions. It works exactly the same as rotating plan objects. You drag the rotation handles that appear when you select a print region. I have an excellent example here of uh, when it's useful to rotate uh, your print region. Basically uh, it's when you're planning on the road that changes direction but you still want each section nicely aligned with the page. Uh, while discussing rotated print regions I should also mention print frames uh, because rotating a print region is another good reason to use them for plan annotations like title boxes. Um, on the print frame you can align your elements directly against um, the printout page area and they'll preserve this positioning regardless of the rotation of the current print region. The preview here shows how each page of this plan would be printed. An important change in Rapid Plan 3.6 is that we've completely redesigned the way sign stands are created and managed. 
Uh, first of all, uh, stands are now standalone objects available from the tools palette under the devices section. You can draw, position and style each stand as required. If you look at the properties panel for a sign stand, um, it lets you select what symbol is used to represent the stand. There's a few built-in symbols, but you can actually use uh, your own custom stand symbols. To create a custom stand, uh, draw the desired shape group into one object then right click and select save as custom sign stand in the dialog that pops up you need to specify a name for the stand and note also the red dot uh, which should be dragged to indicate the direction your stand icon is facing once you're done hit save and the newly created icon is now available on the custom sign stands list. Note how it's correctly aligned um, with the stand bearing. If you have a symbol you always use for your uh, sign stands, uh, you can save your selection as a default style for the stand object, so you don't have to select it each time. Now, because signs and stands are separate objects, they need to be connected to each other to indicate where signs are actually located on site. To create a connection, um, select a sign and then click and drag the little stand icon on the left and then simply select the stand you want to attach the sign to. Uh, the stand icon can be used to connect to existing stands but also to create new ones. A single sign icon can be connected to multiple stands and RapidPlan will automatically work out uh, how many should be listed in the plan manifest. For example, um, here we have a count of three for the prepare to stop sign because it is posted on three different sign stands. Another convenient shortcut allows you to create sign stands while adding signs to the plan. Hold the control key while clicking to create a stand and then position the sign icon with the next click. And of course, one stand can have multiple signs attached to it. Once the connection between a sign and a stand is created, either object can still be manipulated individually. In fact, either object can be grouped with other objects or even sent to a different layer, and the connection will still be preserved. This opens up some interesting options for advanced planners, for example when utilizing plan stages uh, you could place your sign stand on a base stage layer and have different signs attached to it uh, on different plan stages. This plan shows an example of this approach with daytime and nighttime signage drawn on different stages but connected to the same stand objects. Okay, so while we're discussing signs, RapidPlan 3.6 also introduces a tool for finding and replacing signs on the plan. You activate it by clicking this toolbar icon and in the basic mode it lets you search uh, signs by keyword. Matching signs on the current plan get selected. An advanced search mode is also available where you can specify different search criteria or another option is to uh, right click on a sign from the palette and select find similar signs which automatically fills the search form and selects matching signs. You can also tell RapidPlan to automatically replace the matching signs with another sign. Click the replacement mode icon, then specify a sign that should be used as a replacement, either by selecting it on the plan and clicking the load replacement button, or by right clicking on the sign from the signs palette and selecting replace other signs. So as an example here, let's change the posted nighttime speed limit from 60 to 30 everywhere on this plan. We search for 60, uh, click the replace button and the speed limit is changed. But note how the sign stand connections as well as other sign properties are still preserved. So just before we wrap up this tutorial, uh, one last change I wanted to mention is the advanced geometry snapping mode. When drawing an object that can snap to other geometries, uh, hold the ALT key 
to activate the uh, advanced mode. This exposes additional uh, snapping guides, namely geometry midpoints, as well as tangent and perpendicular lines at the position you last snapped to. Note that these additional lines uh, intersect with other geometries and where they do, the intersection points are snappable too. Um, here this allowed me to precisely draw the shortest connecting line between two parallel lines. While this feature is aimed mostly at advanced professional planners, casual users might find it useful as well. Uh, to give you an example, uh, see how using the same technique allows me to quickly and precisely mark a lane closure area along a curved road. Alright, so this wraps up our uh, Rapid Plan 3.6 overview. We've only covered some of the changes in this release. If you're interested in learning more, you can click uh, this box in the welcome screen which links to a complete changelog page. As always, if you have any questions or comments about the new features, feel free to get in touch with Invariant Technical Support. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.